Hello and welcome to Dixie Storytime World. Let's listen to The Shark in the Dark, written by Peter Bensley and illustrated by Ben Gort. If you'd like to stay up to date on all my stories, would you be so kind as to click on the big red subscribe button at the bottom of this video and please give it a thumbs up. Down at the bottom of the deep dark sea, something is stirring and it wants its tea. His teeth are like knives and his eyes small and beady. He's big and he's mean and he's terribly greedy. Watch out, little fishes. Watch out for the shark. Watch out for the great hungry shark in the dark. The flounders were floundering. Here comes the shark. The turtles were terrified. Here comes the shark. Oh, help, moaned the mackerel. The shark's on his way. We don't want to be in his belly today. And all of the fishes were flustered and bumbling. Here comes the shark and his tummy is rumbling. Now, fish smiled the shark. It's been ages since lunch. I just want a wee fishy something to munch. Just the tiniest, tastiest, fishiest snack. So please, grinned the shark in the dark. Hey, come back! No way, cried the crabs. We don't mean to sound selfish. But inside a shark is no place for a shellfish. That's right, cried the cod. We don't want to be tea. Please go back, Mr. Shark, to the dark of the sea. Oh, I will, sneered the shark, when I've had a few shoals for my tea. Hmm, or fresh lobsters, perhaps, or some soles. And he opened his jaws, and his laughter was manic, and put all the fish... In a terrible panic. Away swam the fish, all desperate to hide. Far from the shark, with his jaws open wide. Hello, said a squid. What's going on here? What's all this fussing? What is there to fear? Help, flapped the fish. We're afraid of the shark, the big greedy shark, who lives down in the dark. He's coming to eat us. He's coming right now. How can we keep him away? Tell us how. I see, round the squid. So the shark thinks it's clever to push you around because he's bigger than you. Well, I've got a plan which will make sure he never swims this way again. Now, here's what we'll do. So along swam the shark and he peered all around with his mean beady eyes, but no fish could be found. That's funny, he grumbled. Where have they all gone? They can't all have vanished like that, every one. And then in the distance, he saw a dim shape. Aha, thought the shark. This small fish won't escape. But the closer that fish got, the bigger it grew, and it grew, and it grew into something he knew. The shadowy head, and the shadowy tail, and the gigantic wide open jaws of a whale! Hey, shark! boomed the whale. Come right here, little fish. I'm peckish. You're small, but you'll do for a dish. I've come a long way. I need food in my tummy. A dinner of shark sounds delicious and scrummy. With a shiver and shudder, the shark will. Oh, heck, there's no way that I'm going to swim down your neck. And then with a flick and a flash of his fin, the shark shouted bye with a half-hearted grin and back to the dark fled the shark in a fright as the whale swam slowly out into the light. You see, laughed the squid, when we all got together, we taught him a thing he'll remember 
forever. The end. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed this story. I'll see you soon in the next video. And kids, always remember to be good and kind. Bye for now.